There are many questions arise in the mind of men and women who start practicing semen retention. They have doubts and questions such as could our body be needing lesser food than before because energy is being conserved? Many people notice gradual weight loss, decreased appetite while on brahmacharya, semen retention, and their body becomes skinny and taut. Is it good to lose some excess fat from the body while on semen retention? Could the weight loss be related to semen retention? They have heard somewhere that the heat of brahmacharya, semen retention, reduces fat slash weight? Guys, these questions or doubts make men and women confused whether they should continue to practice brahmacharya, semen retention, or not. Guys, the answer to these question is, simply continue with the practice of yoga and brahmacharya with complete honesty and sincerity. Always practice yoga twice a day comprising of pranayama and meditation. After a few years of unbroken practice, the body becomes lustrous and completely free from all defects. It will then be strong, fit, healthy and immune to the advent of disease. One should however remember that every person has a body type and constitution given to him by the Almighty further to past karma. Some are skinny, while others are naturally fat, obesity is not being referred here. These things are a part of the individual nature and cannot be changed. Neither is there a need to change the basic body type, nor will such attempts bear fruit. Rather, they will lead to ill health and disease. Each body type has certain specifications which cannot and should not be changed. Skinny people should hence not try to put on weight unnaturally. Nor should naturally fat people try losing weight through harsh and artificial methods. A life of yoga and brahmacharya will ensure that the best possible outcome as regards health, weight and constitution is naturally awarded to the brahmacari aspirants, based on his individual body type and constitution. One should then be content with this superior state of well-being and concentrate on the purpose of life namely self-realization. The body of a man or woman who practice brahmacharya, semen retention, correctly eventually gets skinny, taut and firm with the reduction of fat. The skin becomes lustrous, radiant and free from wrinkles slash sagging resulting in a clear complexion and youthful appearance. Since the vital fluid or virya is the or the seventh and final tissue element of digestion, its conservation and transmutation results in a lesser need for food. The resorption of vital fluid or virya back into the blood stimulates the release of certain hormones that send signals to the body against cell multiplication, the main cause of old age and increase in fat and girth. One of the functions of vital fluid or virya other than reproduction is to revitalize and recharge the body with potency, strength and health. The heat produced by the practice of brahmacharya and meditation sublimates the vital fluid into divine energy also called ajas it is a vapor-like subtle substance that gives luster to the entire body and especially the face. The increase in blood count, red blood corpuscles or RBC in the blood, and the heat of yoga results in a reddish hue to the face of the practicing man. As long as the true brahmacari takes moderate amounts of nutritious food in the form of proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, minerals and required quantities of fat, he need not worry about his weight and health as they are automatically regulated and maintained. Practicing men and women are advised to take many small meals instead of a single large meal. This is to ensure that the stomach is not kept totally empty at any given time, as keeping the stomach fully empty makes the gastric fire consume his vitality, leading to weakness and ill health. Thank you, till next time, have a great day!